That's right, Karina, and really all through this campaign, WA has been a significant focus. We saw Labor launch its campaign here uh, several weeks ago. That's something that hasn't happened uh, really at all in any uh, election uh, in living memory. Then there was also uh, Anthony Albanese visited uh, just this week. And then the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, made a, a last-minute visit here on, on Friday, an attempt to shore up uh, Liberal support uh, in potentially uh, vulnerable seats here uh, in and around Perth. Now, the other... A very present factor on the campaign trail has been the WA Premier, Mark McGowan. Uh, he was here at Safety Bay Primary School uh, a short time ago, casting his ballot at uh, this busy uh, polling centre. There's uh, been a significant crowd here uh, all, all day. The WA Premier, uh, Labor, has been very keen to try to capitalise on his popularity, which he built uh, over the course of this pandemic. So he's been uh, out and about on the campaign trail with Anthony Albanese when he's been here in Perth. Uh, and he uh, spoke to the media a short time ago saying that uh, an Albanese government would be best for Australia. I like Anthony. I've known him for 15 or so years and uh, I have a very good working relationship with him. I'm sure I'll be able to have good conversations and good discussions with him about whatever the issues are. Uh, obviously we'll always seek additional support for the state. That's always very important for Western Australia but a good working relationship, uh, better relationships with our trading partners is important for the long-term future uh, of Australia and especially Western Australia. Now, it wasn't all smooth sailing for Mark McGowan on the campaign trail. It's got to be said, in fact, when he was here uh, earlier this morning, he was heckled uh, repeatedly uh, by anti-vaccination protesters. His uh, vaccine mandates have drawn uh, some controversy here in WA and uh, he was heckled repeatedly to the point that his security uh, had to intervene. But uh, it's Labor's hope that uh, Mark McGowan's overall popularity uh, will boost Labor's uh, chances of picking up a couple of seats here in WA later today. Yeah, we do have some pictures of that that we'll try to bring you AB on ABC News a little later. Jacob, which are the key seats the parties are fighting over? Look, there's probably two main key seats going into tonight. The seats of Swan and Pierce. Swan is an inner suburban seat uh, just to uh, Perth's east, uh, to the east of the CBD, I should say. Then in Perth's northern fringes, there's the seat of Pierce. That was previously held uh, by the former Attorney General, Christian Porter. Both of those are Liberal seats, but both of those are seats uh, which Labor likes to think it has a chance of picking up uh, later today. Uh, interestingly, though, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, made an appearance in both of those seats yesterday, so clearly uh, the Liberal are still holding out hope that they could uh, prevail in those seats. On top of that, there's also Cowan. That's a Labor-held seat uh, in Perth's north. Uh, it's one of the most marginal seats in the country, so the Liberals have put uh, some effort there. One of the most interesting seats as well is Curtin. That's another of these teal independent seats. It's one of the most blue-ribbon Liberal seats there is, at least normally, held by the Liberal MP Celia Hammond. She's facing a challenge from independent MP Kate Cheney, however, and the Liberals have had to put significant effort into trying to uh, hold on to that seat seat uh, amid that challenge. Now, should be said as much as Labor is uh, fancying its chances of picking up a couple of seats here in WA, going into this campaign it was hoping of picking up uh, as many of uh, three or four. It had some hope uh, in Taney uh, and in Hasluck, held by Ken Wyatt, but it's somewhat scaled back those expectations going into tonight and mainly has its eye on those two key seats of Swan and Pierce. Yep, and Curtin, as you mentioned, will be another one to watch closely tonight. Jacob Kagey reporting there from Safety Bay in Perth.